Hi everyone. Previous video we saw how you can install Apache Airflow and how you can configure Docker. So in this video I will show you how you can install Python and how you can set the interpreter path. So let's start how you can do that one. Open browser. So type here Python. So here you could see there is a link downloads click that link here you can see download python 3.10.4 which is latest version click that option after clicking that one you could see we started download one application so here you could see download has been completed so let me click that exe file so here you could see it pop up two option one is like uh, install now and it is like a recommended option and second one if you want to install this application in different path then you have to choose that one so let me go through recommended option here you could see there is two option is pop up yes or no you have to click yes then it started installing that application So here you could see the setup was successful so you can click that close. So in search bar you can type python. So here you could see python 3.10 64 bit right click upon that and open file location. So this is the shortcut application so right click upon that. Here you could see there is option open file location click that option. So this is the source path of that python exe file. So we have to set this path in vs code. So let's start. So first you have to copy this path. This is vs code. So in here below you could see there is a alert is coming like select interpreter so you have to click that one after clicking that one there is a option is pop up like enter interpreter path choose that one below there is a option browse your file system to find a python interpreter so choose that one so in here you have to paste that path and give enter so in here you have to do what let me expand it so you have to choose this python so then you have to click select interpreter so it will take some time to load that interpreter in here so now you can see that alert option is disabled now you could see that interpreter has been added here that means we can successfully configure that python interpreter in here